Tesla needs to quit making cars. Here's why. If you follow the ongoing saga of electric car maker Tesla, and let's face it, who is it? You've got to admit that Elon Musk's flagship operation is the most divisive manufacturing company in modern American history. Now, I've been around manufacturing, including the automotive segment, for about 30 years. I've never seen anything like it, at least not since the GM bailout. Now, for those of us that have been in a coma or in solitary confinement for the past year, here's the breakdown. Tesla has finally ramped up the full production of the company's make or break product, the Model 3. Now, right now, it has a starting MSRP of $44,000. Everyone on Tesla's waiting list that is willing to pay this amount, well, they've received their car. And today, you can take delivery of a new Model 3 in as little as two weeks from placing your order. Now, many thousands of people remain on the reservation list, waiting for the promised $35,000 version. Now, current estimates place the earliest appearance of this version at midsummer this year. And in the meantime, Tesla will be shipping cars to Europe as fast as possible. Now, sustainable demand at the current MSRP will not be enough to lift Tesla into profitability. And it's far from a sure thing that Model 3 can be built profitably to sell at $35,000. Now, over the last 15 years, Tesla's rung up considerable debt to keep operations going and to fund new products, with some estimates placing this debt as high as $11 billion. Now, rolling this debt over is becoming a concern for Tesla shareholders, and each quarter, new EVs from established automakers are appearing on the market. This is bad, it's very bad, and it may yet kill the company. But there is a solution. Stop making cars. That's right, I suggest that the sustainable way forward for Tesla is to stop building vehicles. Now here's what I'd do. One, I'd redesign models S and X to use a stretched Model 3 platform and using the same driveline. Now I'd contract the assembly of these cars to a major tier one auto supplier like Magda. Now Jaguar does this with their EVs. Two, shut down the Fremont factory and move the tooling and equipment to the new Shanghai operation and build them there for both the Chinese and US markets. Sell that very valuable Bay Area real estate to help pay for it. Then sell Tesla China and contractually lock in production supply as the sole marketing agent for Model 3 worldwide. Three, stop development of all future models and transition to become a tier one supplier of EV battery packs and drivetrains for existing automakers. Build the units in the Nevada Gigafactory or in Buffalo. Now, there are many highly successful companies that build components and assemblies for major automakers. Now, the names are well known. Bosch, Denso, Continental, Delphi, TRW, and many more. And any one of these tier one suppliers have the technical capability to become automakers themselves, but they don't. Now, they're specialists. They know how to make money by selling automaker solutions that are cheaper and higher quality than the same parts could be made in-house. It's a proven winning formula. The biggest, Denso Corporation, has annual revenues of over $40 billion and employs over 150,000 people worldwide. Yet the name is relatively unknown to the public. Now this is where Tesla has an opportunity. Tesla and especially Elon Musk are highly marketable brands with high perceived value. Now as tier one suppliers to major automakers, those car companies could do for their electric cars what laptop computer makers do with their major processor supplier. Intel inside? Why not Tesla inside? Now this strategy leverages Musk's cool factor and works for both Tesla and automakers who want to electrify their product lineup. Consumers get Tesla cachet in technology in a lower cost car with local sales and service support. And for smaller automakers, this will allow them to be instantly competitive with majors like VW and Toyota who have far greater R&D resources. It's a win-win-win. Now, will it happen? Now, I think 2019 will tell. If Tesla is still losing money at the end of this year, change is coming. But if Tesla waits too long, the supplier community will fill that EV component void and it gets much, much harder for Musk's flagship operation. Now, this is going to be as entertaining as the Indy 500, so get your popcorn.